When we buy something expensive, like a car, a laptop, or a solar system, we want the best. Now, companies and their marketers, on the other hand, want nothing but to convince us that they sell the best. And that's how the solar industry came up with its big marketing trick, the Tier 1 Solar Panels concept. Hey, I'm Jason, and in this video, we're going to be breaking down what Tier 1 solar panels are and how to choose a good solar panel. Now, you might have seen some companies advertise their solar panels as a Tier 1 product. This tiering system is a real thing, but it's not what you might think. It was developed by Bloomberg, a media company that provides financial research and analysis. The system refers not to just solar panels, but to their manufacturers. And to be more precise, to how financially stable and successful they are. The Bloomberg tiering system is primarily used by investors and financiers. There is no mention of product quality. In fact, Bloomberg strongly suggests against using this list as a measure of how good the solar panels are. So who's on the list? Well, the top positions belong to Chinese solar giants such as Jinko Solar, JA Solar and Trina Solar. At the same time, lots of companies with solar panels beloved by customers and experts in the industry didn't make it. For example, Panasonic is not on the list, and neither is Tesla. So, if you're not a bank or investor, then the list of Tier 1 solar panels won't be helpful for you. But then how are you going to choose a good solar panel? Well, there are some ways to check the quality of solar panels, and, well, I'm going to share a few tips with you. First, when you're looking at a solar panel, check the brand's reputation. I always say that there is no need to hunt for expensive panels from brands that everybody knows, like LG or Panasonic. Still, buying panels made by some company from India out back that no one has ever heard of, well, it's kind of iffy. Do a quick Google check, and if the company is fine, just move on to the next step. Check the warranties. A longer warranty shows that the manufacturer is confident that the panels can withstand the test of time. Solar panels come with two types of warranties, that's product and performance. Now, the product warranty covers defects and premature wear and tear. You can consider it the minimum solar panel lifespan. The most basic Chinese solar panels come with a product warranty of 10 to 15 years. With the top brands, the coverage lasts for up to 25 years. The highest I've seen it getting to is 40 years, and that's with sun power solar panels. Now, a quick note, I'm talking about rigid home and commercial solar panels. The flexible thin film panels last less and their warranties are much shorter, usually up to five years. Then there's the performance warranty. It guarantees that the performance of solar panels doesn't drop below a certain level over the years. Usually it lasts for around 25 years for standard panels and 30 years for bifacial solar panels. The most basic solar panels retain above 90% of their output after 10 years and more than 80% after 25. The most modern panels from brands like Panasonic, Rec or Q-Cells retain over 92% by the time their 25-year warranty runs out. Moving on. Before entering the market, a panel should prove that it is safe to use and performs as expected. The best solar panels carry certificates from two companies, International Electrotechnical Commission, or shortly IEC, and Underwriters Laboratories, or shortly UL. The IEC is the world's leading organization that establishes standards for all electrical products, including solar panels. It's based in Switzerland, and IEC standards are internationally recognized and certified products meet the same criteria no matter their country of origin. The UL is a global safety science company based in the United States. Now, the UL certification is another mark of safety and quality for solar panels. Now, where can you find the proof that a panel meets these standards? Well, just go ahead and check the solar panel's data sheet. There should be an IEC or UL mark, and they serve as proof that your solar panels are safe and perform as expected. The data sheet also contains information on the solar panel's durability, uh, performance at high temperatures, efficiency, and more. But that's, of course, the subject for a whole nother video. Uh, if you'd like to see a video of us going over the solar panel's data sheet sometime, please leave a comment below, and I'll see what I can do. Another sign of good solar panels are yeah, you guessed it. Good reviews. Ah, blessed are the people writing reviews on the internet. Their thoughts and stories can tell you a lot about the actual performance of solar panels that you're considering. If many customers aren't satisfied or reporting the same problem, the chances that you'll encounter the same issue are much higher. So go and check out the Google reviews as well as Trustpilot and Reddit. 
However, I should advise you to take reviews on the internet with a little grain of salt. Some of them are fake, some are genuine, but they come from people who know little about the subject. And sometimes customers leave poor reviews where they unfortunately blame others for their own mistakes or poor judgment. Look, you can only learn so much about the product online. Eventually, you will find a model that looks good enough and you'll order it. Check the solar panels upon receiving them. Go over every solar panel in a pallet. Look for cracks, defects, and oh, look, we actually have separate videos on how to receive a solar shipment or pick it up. I'll leave a link in the description below. The thing is that not every problem with a solar panel can be detected with the naked eye. A good idea would be to take a, a multimeter and check its actual performance under the sun. Remember that it's going to be about, say, 20% lower than what the data sheet says. You see, the real world conditions aren't always the same as what engineers have in the lab. If it's too low, you can contact the manufacturer or even consider returning the product. And that's it from me for this video. If I have missed something or if you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I will definitely come back to you. Also, go check out our magazine. It has a lot of helpful articles that can help you learn more about solar panels and how to find a good one. And if you are ready to make your choice, head over to our a1solarstore.com and check what we have in stock. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, I'm Jason. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.